What's up, Sen Squad? Welcome back to another Brawl Stars video. Today, I'm going to be talking about Bo's second gadget, Tripwire, that lets you immediately explode your mines that you throw down from your super. It's extremely strong, obviously pairs very well with his Snare Bear star power that stuns anyone for two seconds who gets hit by these mines. So basically, if anyone walks anywhere near your mines, you can just activate your gadget and then the Snare Bear star power will freeze them for two seconds. And that's on top of the damage the mines do themselves. So there's obviously insane potential with this gadget. I definitely think this is a lot better than Super Totem in essentially every single mode. So we're going to take a closer look at Bo's gadget and specifically how his mines land on the field so that we can get the most value possible out of this gadget. I'll go over a ton of different strategies you can use with this gadget right before we get started if you do want to join my club that i made in brawl stars it is called afterlife here is the clan tag it would be super awesome if you could join it's a very low trophy requirement so hopefully i can see some of you guys there but let's get started so if you take a look at the way you throw your mines with bows super they spread out in a triangle and they're all equally spaced apart from each other if you actually draw a line from like the centers of the different mines they're all about 1.8 tiles apart from each other so just under two tiles apart all of these different mines are and no matter when you throw it in which direction you throw it on what team you're on they'll always be in this exact same formation and if your opponent bow throws their mines it's just going to be flipped so it's this exact same pattern for them instead of you and if you take a look at the intersection of all of these mines you can see how likely it is that a person will walk directly in between these mines and get hit by both of them which deals double damage it'll do 2016 per mine so if you get hit by two mines that's 4032 damage and i'll talk about it later but if you get hit by all three that's 6048 damage which one shots so many brawlers in the game so it's super good if you get as many mines as possible off on a single person you want to try to time it so that way you use your gadget right when they're in between two of the mines now the intersections of two mine explosion circles is about one tile wide at the max point so there's not a huge margin of error but it is wide enough that you should have plenty of time to react and see if they didn't see you put your mines down or they're just not aware where if they're walking towards the mines you just want to wait until they're directly between two of the mines and then you use your gadget and just like that free two seconds done and free 4032 damage and another thing you might notice is that this triangle of mines is not exactly aligned with your screen like you can see the triangle is slightly rotated and it's actually in the exact same rotation as ticks mines which i made a previous video about the whole geometry of his attack and how easy it is to hit a certain number of mines on opposing players but his pattern is exactly the same the top mine is about 20 degrees to the left the rightmost mine is about 10 degrees below the horizontal and the bottom left mine is about 40 degrees off the vertical so if someone's running away you know that you will have the best chance of still being able to hit them if they're running in one of those angles because that means that you'll have the farthest range in that specific direction and another thing you want to keep in mind when using this gadget is that the trigger radius for these mines is actually quite small it's only about two tiles in diameter for each of the mines whereas their explosion radius is like four and one thirds tiles so they have to step a full tile into the range of the mines before it will start ticking and getting ready to explode so if you know the range of your mines very well then you can actually use this gadget before they even trip the mines because they can still be in the explosion radius without actually having tripped the mine yet so just because it hasn't started ticking doesn't mean it's not a good idea to use your gadget now let's talk about that spot right in the middle so it's very hard to hit this spot you won't get it too often then it's only about a square tile in area so you have to hope that someone essentially just walks directly into your mines because if you throw it on top of them they're likely going to run away in a different direction and never pass through the center point so if you do want to try to get three mines off on someone you have to basically put them in a spot wait until someone walks towards you without realizing that you've placed the mines of course and then once they step in they'll probably be close to the center and right when they hit that center point you can try activating your gadget exploding all the mines dealing over 6,000 damage and of course getting that two seconds done if they're not dead already but i recommend not trying to go for this because it's so hard and very few people at a high level are going to be walking in the center of your mind pattern so i'd mainly try to go for two mines at a time 
or one mine on two different people. Because a lot of times, if people don't know your mines are there, it's still very easy for them to walk in an area where they're going to be getting hit by two different mines. And even if they do know where they are, if they try to trip any of the mines, there's still a possibility that they'll walk into that two mine area. So this is something that you can try to work towards and hit more consistently, and it's definitely more feasible than hitting them with all three mines, even though that 6,000 damage does sound super good. And the best part about this gadget is the fact that when you hit someone with your mine, it charges up your super again. So it only takes three mine hits to fully charge your super back up. So if you manage to hit everyone on your opponent's team, even though that will probably never happen if you're at any reasonably high amount of trophies, that will instantly charge back your super. Or if you just hit one person with all three mines, that sweet spot right in the center, that will also instantly charge up your super. And even if you only hit someone with two mines, that's still two thirds of your super charged up and then they're frozen for two seconds. So if you just use your attacks on them, then you'll basically have a full super immediately after you used your gadget which is insane. So like I said, this is a really, really good gadget. Now I want to get into some specific tips that you can use to get the most value out of this gadget for things other than just freezing people. So one of the obvious benefits to this gadget other than its damage and stun is the fact that it can instantly break walls. So it's very good in Brawl Ball if you throw your mines near the goal that you can just break them open whenever you want. And if you coordinate with your teammates, you can actually throw your mines near the walls and then have your teammate bring a ball up and then right as they're about to shoot, you activate your gadget and it's going to blow up all the walls freeze anyone who's trying to defend the ball in the area and so it's basically a free goal at that point so that's a very good strategy you can use i don't recommend just using your super and a gadget solely for the purpose of breaking walls unless you know it's going to guarantee you a goal because a lot of the time you can just throw your super near the walls and your opponents will have to run into it eventually if they want to get out of their spawn points so it's easy to break open the walls with just your super so i don't think you need to use the gadget in that scenario and along those lines you really got to practice on not using your gadget all the time yes it's super fun to instantly explode the mines and freeze people but if people are just walking into your mines without realizing they're there a lot of the time they're still going to get hit by the mines without you even needing to use the gadget so you really have to keep a good eye on your opponents know whether or not they know that your mines are down and use your gadget accordingly if they're just trying to trip the mines and it's pretty obvious that they know your mines are there and are trying to get rid of them that's when you can use the gadget and freeze them and punish them for trying to trip your mines but if it's anything other than that and they're probably going to get hit by the mines anyway you obviously can save your gadget there and wait until you can get the most value out of it because i know a lot of times since you're cycling your super so quickly you're going to be getting more than three supers per match so you got to allocate your gadgets that way you get the most value out of them by using them at the right time but that's going to wrap it up for this video guys hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you did don't forget to subscribe and join the send squad and go to your settings and make sure notifications are enabled there otherwise you won't get them but that's all for today guys so see you later